Hello and welcome to another video with me, your winner, and Jay, to another video of Weekly Engine, which I'm back to just talk you one anime, not 20 anime this week, because, well, seriously don't really know what to talk about that much. I got one anime for this week, probably one that I kind of got, think I'll probably be talking about next week, and then I honestly don't know after that. Which is kind of good, considering the fact that there's only three weeks left at the point in the season, kind of. Minimum, at least. So I guess I can just watch other anime and movies and stuff until then. But, uh, yeah, the anime for this week that I'm talking about is My Happy Marriage, which is basically just a pure romance anime with a slight bit of fantasy added onto it in the form of supernatural powers that people have for some reason. But, um, yeah. And, of course, as you should be able to tell just by looking at Kudo, this is a sojo anime. So, targeted towards girls. So, yeah. In which, in this, you got Mio's family, which of course treats her like shit and basically a slave. Um, yeah. Of course, that's the first whole thing that you gotta deal with. Though it's already moved on, gotten past that, and they, her family's gotten what they deserve. Though I'm pretty sure they deserve worse than that. And it's already moved on to the next thing, which, well... I'm guessing it has to do with, like, the Emperor of Japan or something, I'm not exactly sure, but, yeah. The only other thing I really have to mention here, to be honest, is just Kaya. The fact that you can kind of pity Kaya, considering the fact that she basically was raised to hate Mio her entire life, basically, so... In a way, you can kind of pity her, but it doesn't change the fact that she's absolutely horrible. So, yeah. At least she's living as a servant now. Apparently. Out in the countryside. But, yeah, that's literally all I have to mention for that so far. And, yeah, I don't exactly have much else for an anime to talk about. I've only got one other that I kind of feel like talking about for this season. But, uh, besides that, there is a new series I have started for HVST2 on the Mega Mod with the playing as the Peru Bolivian Confederation. So, yeah, that series seems like it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to actually continue going on that thing and actually moving forward in it, considering the fact that I think, if I remember correctly, from my last open in the game, after ending the first episode and stuff, Britain and Russia together basically have like half of the world's population to their control. Meanwhile, I'm still basically stuck in South America trying to finish things off there. Yeah, it's going to be a pain trying to deal with that in the future, considering I'm going to have to figure out a way to make Britain and Russia weaker while I continue getting stronger. Sure, I may have managed to win a war against Britain already, though it was a very minor victory overall, considering I really didn't get to take that much land, considering the fact I kind of ran out of troops to really continue pushing forward. So, yeah. I'm going to have to figure something out for that series. But, uh, besides that stuff, which, um, yeah, go ahead and figure out that out later, considering I may be recording that after I finish this video. But, uh, yeah, Lessons in Love version 33 has just been released to the public, so I should be getting around to playing that this week, so I'll also have that to talk about next week, which is, which is great. And there's also kind of just the fact that I Finally, I'm about to continue the Misfit of a Demon King Academy in Akashi Triangle this week, because they're finally being continued. So, yay, I can finally start working on finishing the winter anime from this year. I seriously remember absolutely nothing from the Misfit of a Demon King Academy. Seriously, don't you remember anything at all, to be honest? Because we only got the first half of the season, and it's been already over half a year since then, basically. Yeah, I don't remember much at all, so I'm probably going to have to skim through the previous episodes and stuff so I can refresh myself on it. Meanwhile, Akashi Triangle, for some reason, I kind of remember still 
for some reason. Though it does also have a recap that I can look at, I guess, which will make that a bit easier for me to remember. But, um, yeah. I don't exactly have much else to talk about here already. I guess Trials and Tainted Space, um, as I said last week, I am on Uvito at this point, and I'm kind of just working my, slowly working through the stuff that, all the content that's on Uvito Station itself. I think I'm mostly done with that stuff before going on to Uvito itself. So, yeah, I think I'm mostly done there, currently. I can move down to Uvito and start working through all that stuff there. Probably going to take a while to get through it all, to be honest, but I'll eventually get it all done. And seriously, I'm kind of just wanting to get Trials and Tainted Space done and get through all the content in the game, just so I'm fully caught up, so I can just be done with it. Considering there isn't really all that much being added up that often. Like, every other update may have some new content or something, and that's it. So it's not that bad. So maybe something new once a month. Otherwise, it's kind of very slow, and that's it. So I should be able to catch up eventually, but it will probably take a while considering I still got Uvito, Tengshi, and Dal to go through. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and end the episode here since I don't really know what else to talk about. So, yeah, not even eight minutes long. Great. But, uh, yeah, that there is in this video. So, yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed it. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.